Hello and welcome to day one of our Dreamers That Do 5 Day Challenge. So what we're going to talk about today is finding your focus. So in your workbook on page 7 is the finding your focus exercise. The point of finding your focus is, as we know, what you focus on grows. So sometimes we're always focusing on the things that we don't want instead of the things that we do want. And what I've noticed in a lot of the workshops that I taught is if I asked people directly, what do you want? Um, it was amazing to me how many people couldn't really answer that question quickly and off the top of their head. So for example, if I say, hey, what do you want? They didn't really have a clear thought out answer that, that was meaningful. They might just start telling me again what they don't want. So the point, the, the way you do this exercise is you take you take the things that are stressing you out, or if I asked you what you want and you started telling me what you don't want, you would write them down. And then this is the easy part. On the other side of the chart, you write what you do want. Now you may know how you want it instead. So like for example, if you are working for an employer and you know you really want to be self-employed, then that's very clear that you want to be self-employed. You already know that you want to be self-employed. So for example, uh, my very good friend Nala, who's in the group, she definitely knows that she wants to be self-employed. She knows she wants to have a lifestyle business and now she's even mentioned in the group the name of that business is going to be Revival. Revival Cafe. We're very excited for you, Nala. But some people don't. So if you don't know how to name exactly what you do want, then all you need to do is describe the opposite. So for example, um, one of mine was being overwhelmed at work. So then when I started thinking what's causing my overwhelm, what would the opposite look like? It would look like more structure, having defined procedures and organization and always moving projects forward. And, um, for, since today is the day that I actually did the exercise, so it's my example. The one I wanted to talk about was just my, my first one. So in the book, page seven, this is my example. And the top one thing that stresses me out in my entire life is the stress that I have at home with my kids. And uh, Bridget commented that when she saw my life wheel, she was really surprised because she said, you know, Mary, you're so confident and beautiful. And, you know, I really look at you as someone who has your your life together. So she was surprised to see that my life wheel was out of balance. And what a lot of people don't know about me is that I do have a special needs child. My older son, his name is Keegan, he is 16 years old and he has um, a mild form of autism that is sometimes known as Asperger's. And even though it's not, you know, the full expression of this of the spectrum he we have a lot of challenges at home so things that are very simple for you know say your quote unquote normal 16 year old like taking a shower being able to brush your teeth handle your own hygiene these are things keegan is simply not capable of doing um he won't you know he didn't get a driver's license it may be years before he can drive because although his t intelligence level is very high his mental development level is very behind and so this cr causes a lot of stress um, at home. So what that would look like for me is to have a happy flowing home life and that my boys would do their chores and their homework on time without a lot of prompting. So for your reflection questions today, you know really the the beauty of the beauty of um, our personal development challenges that we're doing are in the reflection. And I want to actually give Summer credit because the reflection section was her idea. And so, you know, I'm developing the questions for it, but the, the, the process of the idea of having the reflection section was really Summer's. So I really appreciate that she came up with that. And I, I think it's extremely important. So today's reflection questions are, it's also, you know, helps you go a little bit deeper. So the first question is, if that thing you want came true, what might it do for your life? My answer is, if that came true, I would feel much more supported at home. 
I wouldn't have to feel like I have to do everything myself. So for example, I come home every night, I cook, I have to, I have to clean everything up and I wouldn't have to feel like I had as much stuff to do on my own. And I feel like I would have more joyous time with my kids. So instead of it being time that I'm having to force them to do things, <clears throat> like homework, maybe we would be, I envision we'd be playing a board game or doing something fun. Also, uh, the next question is that if I had that thing, so if I had more joyous time with my kids, if I felt more supported and I didn't have to do everything myself, then what would I have? So what would having the answer to number one, how would that impact your life? So meaning if I had more support at home, if I had some help doing everything and I had more joyous times with my kids, I feel like the result of that would be that I could relax more and I can enjoy life instead of always do, do, doing. And the third reflection question is, if you had the answer to number two, what would you then gain in your life? And so for me, the answer to that is that I really thought about this one and my answer that came to my mind was I would be able to heal. And, you know, I have a lot of built up stress over the years of raising my children as a single mother and all of the things that I've had to do. And I think I would be able to heal. And once I am in that path of healing, I think I would awaken to my spirituality even more. Um, so those are the questions for today. I wish you guys all the best of luck. I've also posted these questions. So, if you don't want to listen to these videos, you certainly don't have to. I will. I always post the questions. Um, one other thing I met, wanted to mention was that I also wanted to look and see where this, what category this fit in on the life wheel. And um, so I felt like this fit under family and relationships, or was it friends and family? I think it was called friends and family. And it was not my lowest score. So I actually got a six on the life wheel for this particular category, but even though that one thing is very stressful, it hasn't, it hasn't lowered my overall score for that category because I have a lot of other things like rich friendships and I have a lot of other support in my life, um, people that help me get some things done that, that I probably wouldn't function very well without them. So that's it for, day, for today. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks a bunch. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications, at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.